VOC Network here at CES 2026. We are at the Aper booth, a booth filled with awesome robots to clean your pool. And we have Jason here. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. James, it's nice to see you again. It absolutely is. Uh, Aper always has some amazing robots mm. that help to keep your pool clean. Uh, but the surface of your pool, the walls of your pool, the surface of the water. Yes. Uh, so what do, what do we have to talk about this year? I mean, the big thing for everybody is AI. We're, we're no different in that regard. Of course. I apologize, maybe. Um, but we're doing uh, a lot more with it. One of the things that's important about our AI model is this cognitive AI. This is AI that's gonna be on board our device. So we're not uploading, collecting, or storing any of the visual data from okay. your pool. So there's a safety aspect of it. As far as what it actually does in terms of clean, we're detecting over 20 different types of things that are gonna be in your pool. And then for debris, we're gonna be able to track it faster, more eco-efficiently. If it's not debris, we're gonna be able to avoid it, make sure nothing gets harmed in the process. Okay. So that's one of the big things. We have that for our skimmer too, but with the skimmer specifically, we have a water quality management system built into it. So we're doing a lot more than just seeing what your water is, we're pr or like taking the debris out of it. We're, we're balancing it, we're protecting it, we're, we're making sure that you are not getting overly chemical, we're gonna make sure you're not getting bacteria. We're trying to take that whole pool ecosystem and really elevate just care for and health. Outside of a pool, we are doing the whole smart yard ecosystem. We have an irrigation system this year. Not gonna go into that too much, but it is something worth trying. It's got 10 different zones that you can customize. So only watering the plants that need it when they need it, not because there's a timer. If you wanna do your grass one day, three days, do that. Wanna do your plants and your flowers another day, do that. We can, we can do all that now. Very exciting to hear, actually. Uh, that we, we have actually seen a huge leap into that field of things when it comes to smart timers and controllers and mm. some really interesting ideas out there that's changing how we're watering our yards, which I'm sure some of our local authorities have uh, <laughs> been very thankful for since they're always constantly saying less water, less water. Now you can really tap into that. Well, and with one of the technologies, we do have a weather sense technology with, uh, with that. So if you're exper experiencing a dry spell, we're going to be able to pump a little bit more water into that, that cleaning plan. If you're getting a rainy season, we're gonna back off of that because you don't wanna overwater your plants, your lawn. Of course. Yeah. That's fantastic. So that's something to look forward to. And what, what so what's this behind us right here? So this is our flagship model. This is the Scuba V3 Ultra. And what you, you might be seeing on camera, I'm not sure what the view is, is it's actually raising up. So one of the things we talk about is eco-efficiency. So when it goes up, so when traditional ones go up the wall, they have to jet blast out to get into the middle of the pool to do the skimming. This is gonna be able to go right up from the floor, wherever it is in the pool and start to do that skimming. But more importantly, it's gonna be able to get into those shallow areas of your pool as, as low as eight inches, which is, um, Something that's been really requested in the last couple of years is getting into those shallow areas. That's fantastic. So this one, uh, does this mean that there's no shape of pool this can't handle? I, it would be it would be hard pressed to find one, but I have I have heard some people. It's like I've got multiple pools. Can you jump into it? It's like no. We no, can't. that would be awesome. That, <laughs> yeah, but like like for the longest time, like one of the biggest things that really haunts a lot of these is like if the pool isn't perfectly flat, like if it has a little bit of dip to right, it, yes. or if you have steps or anything like that. So yeah, we well, last year we got really advanced with our our ability to climb walls and climb steps. This is taking that uh, another step able to map it out a lot better the stability is better on it and like i said if you have those shallow steps we're going to be able to just like okay we're going to come up and over and we'll come back down individually on those so it's just not like your typical mapping from like a vacuum cleaner this is no. like three-dimensional mapping yeah and as exciting as this is we're only getting better we have we did announce earlier this week another one that's coming out in the unspecified future that has laser and sonar sensors to generate a full 3d map of your pool not not in this generation but it's something to look forward to i think i know somebody on my team that would love to test one of these <laughs> things out well jason thank you thank uh, you obviously if you want to learn more about this go to aper's website they have all the information you can possibly ask for for all of the robots they have a lot to choose from in their ecosystem and uh well it's a name that's uh i mean I say it's a name you can trust. It's been out for quite a while now. I mean, I mean, I mean not only that, also Facebook, Instagram, but this year we did get recognized as the number one pool 
cordless pool robot in the industry. Over 50% market share, so we're doing something right. Yes, and they're available everywhere. It's not yes. just Amazon, but uh, uh, Walmart has displays. Apple.com, Best Buy, Lowe's, Home Depot, Europe, Australia, Brazil. We, we're, we're, we're going worldwide. Yep, so Aper's one of the biggest brands out there, and if you're thinking about getting serious about making it easier to clean your pool so you don't have to, check them out at Aper. I think it's just Aper.com. 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 Well, thank you so much. Thank again. you again. And uh, we'll see you guys next year. Yeah. If you want to stay on top of all the latest and greatest and or at least the gadgets we cover, remember to subscribe right here. Subscription button. Click it. You're going to want to. There's lots of videos, interviews, previews, all sorts of stuff. Button. Click it.